But on OG's side, it's a Slardar Viper, right? They've got aggression and the potential to dominate a lane of their own. He's going to drag the wave back for Arme under his own tower. Give him that safety he requires. He's expended all of his resources. Drops the voice oh, line. Oh, the, the TP, TP from Fate Beyond. He comes in. Gets the first blood. He saw that coming. Uh, on the other side, OG didn't overreact. Oh, he's got... He's, He's gonna, gonna get pick it up. He gets the regen rune. That's a big one. Stealing it from Puck and also having it on Tiny means that you're gonna be able to play much more aggressive. And, and now Tiger. Combo on cooldown for a couple of seconds. The Arctic Burn and the Poison Touch. So much slow onto an already sluggish hero. We heard your comms yesterday. I'm jungling, I'm jungling, I'm jungling, I'm jungling. I'm pushing, is, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. not how the professional <laughs> team's comms I had Beak up in my sound. lane. I had to say everything five times so he would listen. Siren doesn't have a point in... In ulti, but not the say. There comes Tiny. Avalanche toss, Faith Beyond TP's in. The numbers are here. Everybody brought into the mech's bottom lane and two heroes down. LGD. I see five heroes from VSG LGD here. And the what, look what Jin is doing. He's the one who's using the cold embrace just to have some extra damage. Just popping on the tower. Nothing to say. He's not done yet. He's found Tiger. And that's another one. Toss him back across to Arme. The Shadow Wave bomb and a kill on him. 7-0. So far, perfect game from PSG LGD. Moving to the mid lane, getting the numbers, securing the runes for their tiny. And a curse. It's in there onto the two supports. Misha being hit down by his Viper, and nothing to say arrives, blows them up. 10 nil. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I, I don't think I've everywhere. Seen, I don't think I've seen heat map like that, because no. they're all around the place. Everyone's moving, they're not static. Like maybe 60 minutes in, but 13 minutes in, he's everywhere. Faith Beyond gets the Sans onto the Dawn. Jinkyu is nearby as well. Let's see if he can turn this back. It looks like the Prophet will be slain by Yuragi's TA. A nice streak to be grabbed and the Wyvern's been left alone. And that playstyle they were talking about by LGD has broken down a little bit. They've spread the map wide. Neither of the cores have died. So all of these kills from LGD have been on supports or you know, less valuable heroes. As they jump in onto the Slada, this is a valuable one. Amar will get the crush out. Nothing to say, looking to finish him off, but the Dawnbreaker Solar Guardian arriving, and Amar needed to be cursed up. Dawnbreaker will whack him down, though, and Misha's arrived onto the scene to be netted up by the Naga Siren and finished off by the Illusions. And nothing to say, still not done. Getting Big another one back. with the haste. Straight into the middle of four of them. LGD realizing, right, we can't have these heroes being two up top and two down bottom. We'll group up again as four or five and show OG what we're made of. And oh, mate, deep. In his own jungle, sitting in the pocket to farm away. Shin Q and Wani turning around on Misha. Getting a D ward while the Dawnbreaker dies inside the Sprout. Y has his priorities right. Kill the vision before the heroes. Make sure OG didn't have any recourse. No turnaround potential. And nothing to say again. Just drops straight into the middle of them. Amar tossed back into the Wyvern. Sprout is there as well. And nothing to say is tiny. On the run back, Arme will guard him while they kill the Slardar simply. 500 away from Blink, so not too far, but Misha jumped in the mid lane. Sent backwards in towards White. And another kill for LGD, 16-2. Tiger found and netted up. He gets the Tumblr's toy up towards the high ground, but Arme will chase him to the ends of the earth if need be on a killing spree for the Naga Siren. There's too, way too much sustain on their side. And also, the rune control. Nothing to say, pretty much picked up every single rune in this game. It's been he finds another one. He's gonna get caught out here, though. Sprout is there on the Tiger. Cold Embrace to keep nothing to say alive. And they've got the curse, allowing the Tiny to maybe slip away. Oh, he's going up aggressively. Grave. He wants to try and finish them off. Blowing up BZM. The Dawnbreaker, Solar Guardian comes in, but the Grave's on the Tiny now. Nothing to say. Going for the TP away. He's successful. No, oh, he's he cancelled. He wants to fight. They Got the Naga song, they want to blow up Amar now. One by one, OG will fall in a cold embrace as well. They just can't kill anybody. OG are struggling. LGD are dominating. This reminds me of like old, old, old OG, where they still had Fly and they would bi uh, build up these drafts where they had Io and Dazzle and Huskar and they have you know, Wyvern, multi layers of support. You go on one that saves the other, that saves the other. And right now, nothing to say, he knows he has so much backup. He dives to tier four towers. He's able to turn and fight because he's still got the Shadow Wave, the heal, the grave, everything on top of him to keep him alive. They've killed Misha. Tiger, he's not going to survive. Naga Siren will dive in behind the barracks. They finish off the buildings and LGD cruising towards victory at this point. OG will now look towards the Naga Siren, eyes on army.
There's the coil snap. They blow up one. Why is drop? But the Winter's Curse straight onto Armar. Take the Slardar down as Arme stands his ground. Healed up by the Cold Embrace, but this time OG. Big ulti. They should be able to find a couple of quick kills. But Yuragi, oh, he can't contend with his Nugget illusions. Oh, Arme, he just 1v3ing them at this point. Nothing to say. Will arrive back in. And Tiny punches down the TA. I don't believe this. Arme is still might alive. Be it. This might be, they were not able to take down Aegis and they're going to What a beautiful performance. Putting a player there, so you can't really give away that information. And now it's always someone sat there to scout out. As LGD hold the high ground near the top rune. And the oh, backstab from in. LGD. From behind, they're baiting with nothing to say. And OG, they had no idea this was coming. They want Amar. Huge dual breath. In onto Amar and Misha. Focus the husk on with the battery assault. Jin Q body blocking him. And Amar about to die as your first blood spilt out by LGD Zeus. And having that extra damage on three heroes against the tri lane, that's going to be massive. This is when LGD will try to get a kill or two. Ooh, the contest on the pull. Jin Q getting shackled, but he's got Tiger inside the cogs now. Dagger across from Arme. Close the gap onto the Wind Ranger. He shall try and get out with the Wind Run. Jin Q going in, but the Solar Guardian is coming in, landing onto Amar's head. And Huskar, the quick change of focus, charging in towards Misha and Tiger now, and all three of them are going to die. Clockwork, the only casualty for LGD. Ping ponging from top to mid, bouncing around. Dawnbreaker ulti available, Zeus. Not ready, but they're waiting for nothing to say on the oh, high ground. Oh, they were waiting for him. They know that rotation was coming, but the Solar Guardian and the raindrops popped down. Nothing to say, he's fine. BZM spent his combo with no kill coming, and a turnaround cancelled by Tiger. Good shackle shot. Stops the Starbreaker, and Yuragi saves the void. He's here with Chrono ready, holding onto it for the time being, and blown up completely. Didn't spend his ultimate. Well, Amar, yes, he'll kill off Y, but Spectre chasing him down under the tier one tower top. The Avalanche toss, not finishing off the clock. Going for a different item, and uh, in terms of tower damage, they don't have as much, so this Deso is going to help out quite a lot. Shane Q, shackle on him. And BGM coming forward, but there we go. Dawnbreaker ulti. This force down, the Chrono on two. Why? And nothing to say. You're looking to get damage in from the sideline. The Tiny was trapped inside the Chrono. Now Ice Path and caught out. BZM in trouble. The Spectre horns back in towards Yuragi. Chasing the faceless void. A good shackle shot comes. But Yuragi, the time walk to the low ground. I don't think that's enough to give him the space he needs. One more zap. LGD will find the faceless void. A lot of ultimates expended in that trade. But LGD coming out on top once again. BZM. Pick off the Jakiro. Oh, just slows on the attack speed. So Nothing difficult. to say. Has another chain and will get it. He's going to get the double here, isn't he? I mean, Amar is arriving. Jin Q will try and save. Nothing to say. But the Husker with the damage. Amar jumps in. The cocks were good. But they kill the Zeus. That's a big one. Going into these mid game team fights. Oh, Radiant there? using the scan. Wrong side. PSG LGD will do a wraparound. It's only Wind Ranger that they can find. Should be an easy one. Another Arcane Rune. Income flowing. Fate Beyond finishing this, so they are ready to go. Like, they want to take a fight right now. Spectre. Haunt is available if they want to show where Warlock is. And they see Yuragi. A few spells onto him immediately. The Golem dropped in onto just Jin Q. The Fatal Bombs across the four of them. Tiny in with Avalanche Toss, and they've killed the Clockwork quickly. Solar Guardian now, as Fate Beyond arrives, and he'll burst through too. Tiger and BZM being blown up. Why will drop and Faith Beyond taken out by Amar and Yuragi's Chrono, the turnaround for OG. They kept Tiger alive and now they're on the Spectre. Five heroes about to die, LGD getting wiped. Oh, what a beautiful fight from OG. They've got to know. Huskar, such an important Roshan hero. Jim Q does ping it out. It's BZM with Yuragi holding out in that mid lane and the rest of OG wanting to fight while Amar can basically just solo Eight Roshan. That's scouted out, Amar. Still has armlet and 16 wand charges. Faith Let's beyond. see. Jin looking for an angle. They're gets it. Forward. They get into the pit. Roshan nearly dead and they blow up Amar. The Thunder God's wrath beautifully placed on Misha. He drops the golem in on them. Snatched up. BZM grabs the Aegis and the three man Chrono. Yuragi, he's got four of them trapped in there, in fact. Nothing to say. Focus down and the upheaval slows them to a crawl. There's no escape. OG, they're destroying them. Armage left out in the river. No way to get out of the grasp of OG. 
And even though they got a good initiation, they found the angle for Huskar to be able to kill him. And wipe LGD off the face of the map. Amal looks a little uncomfortable that he died around Roshan. He's not too happy about that. He wanted that Aegis, you know, Amar. Yeah. He absolutely would have loved to have it. As Yuragi picks up yet another one. One in that top jungle. LGD still trying to play into their vision there with nothing to say in Jin Q. Yeah, look at that damage spread. 10.7k from the Warlock. And that's majority from the Fatal Bonds. Haunt in from Ame. They're hunting though. OG are in on to Zeus. Nothing to say. Can't heavily jump away. And a time walk out by the Faceless Void. Creates the gap he needs. Allowing LGD to pick up the pieces. Clear up Tiger. Yes, but now the Blade slowing a time down. dilation. The Diffusal Blade slow and BZM with the gap closed. Oh, they toss him back into Amar, who's got the damage to rip the Dawnbreaker. Limb from limb. And why with a Glimmer Cape, gonna get himself down into the tree line. Got TP out straight away, and the four staff there is allowing BZM to play aggressively into the Jakiro. Solar Guardian and the hook shot though. LGD not letting OG having any freebies, taking down the tiny of the Wind Ranger. Setting things up to maybe push out the top tier two. And of course, we are now looking towards that second Roshan. A minute and a half until the big man spawns up again. GQ down in the bottom jungle. We'll find him. Oh, he found oh. the angle. Still going to die. That. Hook shot to the creeps, but three heroes, three cores. Aghanim Scepter delivered for the Huskar now. So he's got that upgraded life break, forcing the duel, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Three second duration taunt. That's going to be big. Locking down a hero if he can find an opening on Zeus. He does have an E on this, but uh, let's see this one. Ame, Ame, up and down, up and down. Trying to juke it all around, but Amar's found him. Focusing the Spectre and the Chrono. Jump in from Yuragi, diving deeper. Tiger dies. Ame, somehow, he's still alive. Solar Guard is there to heal up the Zeus as well, but the Spectre finished off by OG. Ame with the buyback. Back. He wants to fight and continue this one. Misha doesn't have the golem. Down goes the warlock. Faith behind with a double kill. And Amar, he needs backup and he needs it fast. He'll life break down to the low ground on the creep wave. But LGD, they've got his number. Amar's in the cog. Oh, he's going to get a kill. Look. He's going to finish Nine charges, LGD. nine stacks. They're trying to keep him alive with the glimmer cape, but it's not going to be enough. Staff to be able to get that outside of the cogs. Also, close the distance between the heroes. Potentially get Here he comes. a sauce back. Clockwork's in. A hook shots and cogs the goal up. In off the Faith Beyond hit. Faceless Void, your RGB KB's up, but the Zeus is being focused by the Huskar. Amar just, just jumps straight into the back line. Oh, does not get a bash? No, he just TP's home. He's perfectly fine now, and Dawnbreaker slamming into them. BZM about to dive a blink away from the hammer. Army oh, down in the river. Looking to slip away from Yuragi and Amar, but another life break comes on forward. Solar Guardian is there from Faith Beyond, and they Needs turn it in on and he gets it, crit, 1.2k. Big DD slam in from Faith Beyond, and he aims BZM now. They've got the clockwork sure, but Yuragi needs to do so much more. Faith Beyond will be a big pickoff for them. And LGD lose three heroes, while OG could still go into the pit. Seems like they're gonna bail. Not gonna go for Roche. Yuragi thinking about going in. Jumps to high ground just to use Hand of Midas. <laughs> he's, got, he's got Chrono, they got Shackle Shot. And it looks like they're gonna get an easy kill. Find the pick off yet again onto the Jinku Clockwork. Amar. Uh, they'll, they'll need those items, but uh, advantage for OG keeps on rising. Two and a half minutes for a potential row spawn. There is a basher on Dawnbreaker. Caps on white. Ame oh, wants to force a fight. Nimbus there, Tiger hook shot it up. They've lost their Jakiro, but Yuragi with his BKB and having Chrono ready. Looking for Jin Q, the bashes don't come. Disassemble his Echo, of course. As the Mage Slayer Aghanims are Amar. They jump the Huskar, but look at that Golem. They drop over the Fatal Bonds on them, and Amar, he's still healthy to battle Faith Beyond. Brings the Dawnbreaker down. BZM in the back lines takes down Jin Q and Y as well. Tiger running up that high ground. And that Tier 3 tower broken down by Amar and BZM. All they need are those couple of kills to shake the foundations of, OG, of LGD's base. Nothing to say behind his tier fours. He is at a safe distance here, just trying to shove out the wave as best he can. But Yuragi on the high ground, and BZM with a jump in, tosses Jinkyu across. 
Nimbus there and Yuragi. Oh, he's lost a lot of HP by the time walk out. Tiger diving deep in towards nothing to say Zeus, but they've got the damage to bring him down. And a Solar Guardian launching Faith Beyond forward. Oh, the bash. Jumping straight in towards them. Armar's gonna life break back. BZM looks safe. He's managed to disengage. Armar on the run back, but Yuragi, he's got the Chrono still. Aeon Disc is not there. Doesn't have it available. Zeus gone. Faith Beyond getting caught out. And that's gonna be the beginning of the end now. No Dawnbreaker. Amar and Yuragi. Amar is isolated. He's going to go down. He's got the inner fire. He's got the ability to stand his ground, but he will finally fall and hit the ground. And Roshan respawned a lot of commitment from PSG LGD. Across the map towards the pit. Yuragi still wants to get something done. There's the silence. He sees the Zeus. Sances him up, but Yuragi time walking a little deeper and then back out again as BZM chucks the trees at them. Army. Loses a third of his HP, and the Zeus getting whacked around. The damage is incoming from OG. Yuragi jumps back across and in again. The Zeus about to die. Arme stuck here. A nice macro pile. What a play Won't from Yuragi. In thing. and out with the time walks. And they have a lot of HP on those boards. And Fate Beyond is going to put another point in it once he reaches level 3. X, then you need a Brain Sap and a Dagger and a jump as well. Oh, Fatal Bonds, Tiger. That's Jingu stacks as well, but it's the bonds that will take him down. First blood for White. That's what LGD want to angle towards. GQ from the south side. The rest of them swarming up the ramp. Staircase. And GQ will toss back the Bane. Exorcism comes they out of the say. And yeah, they want to clear through this triangle and make sure they steal away gold from OG. And they don't want to fight. OG, you want to keep this PA safely farming back in these deeper pockets, hidden away from LGD. A perfect game so far. GQ getting jumped. He stunned the creep, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Amar, uncharacteristic mistake, getting tossed around inside the upheaval. Raw comes out from Faith Beyond as they want to try and focus the Bane at the same time. Flame Break and the Nightmare. Golem dropped. Kill off Amar. Why? Not messing around, just the... Big old cooldown ulti, straight for that Dragon Knight. Oh, so no. OG is still, you know, a 3v5 in effect. And an easy Roshan for LGD, grabbed up by Arme. Like just a casual plate mail against Phantom Assassin. And Amar. Then... He's jumped the tiny, but Arme with the Boundless and the Wukong. They're in on Tiger, dive away. He's got the Supernova to come in to play. They've killed off Jin Q, and Arme is on the run with his BKB up. They need to bail away from that egg. As Tiger dives in again, the blink back by Amar, focusing nothing to say, the Death Prophet. Cleave through by the PA and Misha's Bane as OG. They'll take the Monkey's Aegis. Why and Faith Beyond were far too distant from this fight. And there's they the need grip. to protect the Monkey he King. He needs the roar. He's gripped up, but there's no saving him. Battle of Strike won't do a damn thing, and the Monkey King is dropped. They'll turn on the PA, the Dragon whacking into Yuragi, but he jumps across to the right. OG, they'll lose their carry, but they get so much out of this trade. Jin Q with the Avatos. They want Tiger, but another dive away. Keeps himself healed and topped up. Well, Y and Jin Q are trapped down in this bottom jungle now. They don't belong here. Jin Q thinking about going in one more time. Has combo ready. We'll scout him out. He wants Tiger and he'll get him. Amar is fatal bonded, so these blinks are being constantly cancelled out. They can't make any further jumps. Need to TP home. The utility focused hero that Amar wants to be a secondary core alongside the Phantom Assassin. Jin Q lands the avalanche, gets the toss in towards the dragon. Blur and Phantom strike away thanks to Misha and they roar the bait. Yuragi might be able to get out of danger here as they do use Exo. Misha being uh, taken down by the ghost. The there we go, toss another back. combo. The toss back not coming. He's running back and forth. Yuragi, he's got TP, but there's really no way out of this, is there? Jin Q has his number, surrounded by LGD as they come back into the mid lane. Amar, he's just right clicked down. I didn't even need a stun to stop him from TPing home. Yeah, this is the fight uh, that I kind of expected the PSG LGD to, to go for, where, uh, like, the previous execution was not as good. Oh, oh. they almost catch Taiga. So close. But you never know when that sleeper hero is going to strike. Amar, he gets on top of Tiny. He's got Lotus Orb on him. Avalanche in, and Arme straight Sleep. towards the Phoenix. Nice sleep, you're right. And then we come with a golden drop. Tiger buys back straight off the... Bat as the Wukong zones them away. 
OG in full retreat mode with Amar still stuck in the middle of an awful lot of damage. Oh, hard stun. Yeah, they tried to catch Misha. BZM on the run. Bane, no way out of there and nothing to say. Picks up a double kill. Not overlapping any of their abilities and also protecting each other. Instant Lotus Orb from not to say after Dragonite stun and uh, yeah, they will go for the high ground. Still need to respect Lasso a little bit. Jin oh, hello. Dead. Yeah, they know there's no BKB, PA don't down. they? PA dead. The roar of the courier. Well, he made sure it died. Lasso back with Ractanian towards tier four. The Phoenix Sun rang down Jin Q. But the tier three's dead and the racks are wide open. So LGD just looking for this structural damage. Balor strike off the mark. And they've got Lotus in onto Arme as well. Tiger. Just a dive and a spam of the fiery spirit. Pinging out the high ground, wanting to keep the wards going. What have we here? Playing down in this bottom jungle. And man, we see this move time and time again. You now we know a lot of teams like to smoke from their tier twos, but LG love to smoke from the enemy high ground ward in their jungle and make the jump and force the BKB. BZM has to play defensively while we've got Monkey King whacking away at towers, forcing the glyph out of OG. But they it's need high one ground. Monkey and he does have Bukongs plus uh, Aegis for another minute and a half. Exo still running. Yeah. Just spirit vessels reducing the healing. A lot of AOE damage. Good stun. Jinkyu's in. The three man starts as well. Nothing to say. Diving in the lasso on the DP, but she is BKB. They put her in the fountain. What can they do against her? A lot of damage with the DK stun. They'll find nothing to say here with Yuragi's jump. But in the meanwhile, it was all smoke and mirrors. A distraction ploy by LGD to bring the barracks down. Yeah, no premature Lotus Orb this time around, but uh, it gets the job done. They trade nothing to say for two barracks. One melee, one range. Another Lotus Orb on Tiny. And OG, they need, they need something big here to break the rhythm of this game. Yuragi, they're there with Tiger, but the Monkey King hits in towards him. They've got the roar back on the PA as well. And an avalanche toss landing onto Amar and BZM. They've taken out Tiger and Jin Q has fallen too, but the PA is focused by this Monkey King. Yeah, Monkey with full Scotty and Mjolnir has enough damage. And if they are controlling supports, Batrider, he knew that there was no lasso. So he could go in and, oh, another Hawk stun. Yeah, just a couple more hits and I'll kill off Misha. A your ass delivered out to and Faith another Beastmaster. Record. This badge, Fade Beyond, popping off on his Beastmaster. We're talking about uh, 29 minutes of Salt Curious. Yeah, it, it, it's all or nothing now for OG. Two heroes dead without buyback. Mega creeps on the horizon for LGD. Nightmare back onto Misha, silenced up, his buyback is done. It's gonna turn into a dieback as Arme unleashes on him, BKB's up. So the Dragon Knight can't stun him. He just, just expired. They need to play against Mega Creeps. This is it. Uh, we might be you know, thinking about getting a Divine Rapier for Phantom Assassin. GG! But, uh, yeah, they're gonna call it. There is uh, no way back. Um, I was thinking, Gary, you know, maybe mantle 10 minutes mantle. in. Where's the mantle? Someone pinged a mantle of intelligence somewhere. Who's doing it? Ah, uh, there it is. 